Warning, you are not watching Siskel and Ebert. You are now entering Wink World. So then topical back with another video. I'm Strange Wang, and today I have a film review for Saltburn. Before we get into this film, please hit that thanks button. Donate some of that Bob De Niro so I can be rich like the motherfuckers in this movie. Or if you still want to help out the channel but don't got money like the motherfuckers in this movie, hit that subscribe button. It's free. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you do either of those two things, then I appreciate that. But let's get down to brass tacks. I gave Salt Burn a 6.5 out of 10 wings. Why? 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 Because Salt Burn is an extremely well made movie. Um, the director's name is Emerald something. I forgot. I'm a terrible YouTuber. Promising Young Woman was their first film. Love that. It was amazing. This film, if you thought that movie was crazy, this, it ain't got nothing on this shit. This, my name, I call myself Strange Wang on YouTube, on the internets. This movie was too strange for Wang. Really? You got people drinking bath water, fucking eating blood, you know, if you know what I mean. Ew, that was completely unnecessary, disgusting. You got people fucking graves. This shit's just weird. Clearly! <laughs> no debating! The weirdest movie I've ever seen in my life. And the one thing I can say about this movie being so damn weird is it keeps your attention. It's hard to look away. And because it's hard to look away, it makes you think. And with all due respect, whether you like it or not, you're going to have investment because you don't know what's going to be on the screen next. However, the issue with this film being so weird is for the niches of audiences. I don't even know if I was the audience for this movie. I enjoyed bits and pieces of it. I enjoyed it made me think. I enjoyed that it unfolded and it wasn't predictable. I enjoyed the performances, the directing, the cinematography. I enjoyed the dialogue, the story. But I don't know if I was the audience for this movie because at times I was repulsed. And I don't get offended at anything. But when you got someone busting one in the tub and somebody drinking the water, that's a little too fucking far. Am I lying? I don't know if being so weird and gross and disgusting to get your point across for the greater good really mattered in this movie. Because if I'm being completely honest, I thought about it and I was like, hmm. Movies about this. My take is love and jealousy and envy and how that can consume a person and take over the world for what? And honestly, that's probably not even the right reason. But that is what I got out of the film. So, what I got out of the film is probably different from what you got out of the film, but that's the beautiful thing about cinema and that's why I'm glad movies like this exist. But you look at a Clockwork Orange, you watch it once or twice, it's repulsing at times, it's vile and disgusting and rude, crude, and socially unacceptable, just like Saltburn. But the difference between those two films is Clockwork Orange, the message is a bit clearer, and you understand why the director did such weird things to get you out. So the message isn't as in your face as a film like Fight Club. Capitalism. It's in your face. It's bad. These films hide it. Saltburn, I feel like because of how disgusting and gross it was, it hit it too much. And instead of me really thinking about what is Saltburn about, I was just like, hmm, I feel like it's about this. That's the weirdest movie I've ever seen. And if it's not about that, well, I don't care. And when I tell people I saw this movie, I'm like, yo. This is the weirdest movie I've ever seen. I just watch a lot of movies, so that... That there's impressive! I'm not saying I didn't care about Saltburn the entire time. I just don't know where this film's going to be with me in my life. Am I ever going to think about it again? Am I going to care about this film five years down the road? Is, am I going to want to rewatch it five years down the road? Am I going to get curious one night... 
and can't sleep and be like, hmm, I'm going to watch YouTube videos about this movie and see what other people think about Saltburn. I highly doubt it. But I will say Saltburn is a very impressive movie. It has the most uncomfortable scene I have think I've ever seen in cinema, especially if we're talking just dinner scenes. The most uncomfortable dinner scene I've ever seen filmed. And it has none of that gross shit in it. Great. It has none of that gross stuff in it. It just plays on sound, emotions, body expressions, body language. The lens, not lens, they, there's this tint to the scene that adds to it. The color choices and everything are just so mechanically thought about and used. It's so fantastic that I would probably go on YouTube and watch that one scene again just because it's incredible and it immediately made me feel uncomfortable. Not the only time this film made me feel... Blah, blah, blah. Not the only time this film made me feel uncomfortable, but to do it in such a meager way. Less is more. I love less is more filmmaking. This film gave it to me that scene. It gives it to you a lot, but... It's weird, well made, but weird, and I don't know if I really care, and it's been a day or two since I've watched it, so I don't know if I will ever care about Saltburn, but I cared enough to make a review, I cared enough to give it a 6.5 out of 10 wings, so if you care about Saltburn, let me know why in the comment section below, what did you think about Saltburn, did you get the same out of it as I did? I don't know. You gotta tell me in the comment section below. Score back up to the like button, share the video, and subscribe. It's not a game, sir.